Two men journey to the bars and restaurants of Scandinavia to find amazing beers, always with the same question. Hey, what's on tap? It's time to find out. Okay, our second, second game, game, game of beers. So, <laughs> game of beers. Game on. Finish him. Uh, all right. So, just to recap, in case you missed the last episode, uh, Matthias. In case you did, go back and listen to right. it. Right. If, well, if you didn't, you should just stop listening now. Go back and listen to the um, the uh, previous episode. I will wait for you. All right. Hope you enjoyed that, and it was as much fun to listen to as it was for us to do. Um, but moving forward, it's now my turn to sit. Yes. In the big comfy chair and dictate my whims and uh, whatever to uh, Matthias. <laughs> so I have picked three beers and it's three different beers. Three different beers. There's three of the same to see if you actually notice the difference. <laughs> that would be really funny, actually. Oh, I want to rechange my game. <laughs> see, see if you judge them differently. <laughs> actually, so it's, it's it's like it's like pouring someone the uh, the, the five dollar bottle of wine and telling them it's yeah. a twenty five dollar bottle and seeing how they judge it. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Uh, no, I was thinking when you when you did your little fanfare there of the uh, game of beers. I mean, that, maybe that should be like a regular like. Coming back, we can episode. we can do game of beers again. Yeah, so we'll call this game of beers. We'll call it game All of right. beers. Yeah, uh, I think that would be good. And then we'll yes. actually we'll actually um, invite other people Ooh, for the game of beers challenge. Yes. Oh, that could be fun. We could be the yeah, MCs, exactly. the host masters. We can both be game in of the beers. Chair. Exactly. Oh yeah. Uh, and then judge them in their poor taste. Exactly. All right. Exert our power on the peons. Okay, so the rules are very simple. <laughs> The rules are simple. Matthias will be uh, will be blindfolded. Yep. And he will taste the beers and tell me what he thinks they are. Yep. And then he will be unblindfolded, and then we will talk about what he thought of the beers and mm-hmm. if he can pick out the brewery that they're from. Exactly. And of course, you guys will know uh, the beers I'm tasting beforehand because I'll have a pair of headphones on while uh, Stefan here tells you uh, what he's serving me. Exactly. Okay. Well, I will let you get all uh, trussed up. Right, and while well, I go which, grab some beers, uh, which one is it? It is. That's a good question. It is the is that one. Okay. That one. All right. So talk, talk to the people while you're. Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, gonna put some music on here and get blindfolded. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Well, that kind of. Doesn't work. It's kind of a challenge choosing a song when you blindfold yourself first. Yeah, you really good music first. All right, so Matias is picking music. He is uh, blindfolding himself, just the way I like it. I will get naked. You can't hear me, so that's good. Okay, so I picked three beers. This will be fun. It's a song I listened to as well. Well, it's really loud. Uh, which is a uh, "Check Yourself" by Ice Cube. It's an amazing song. So the first song, I'm oh, sorry, the first beer I picked is a Piston Head Custom Lager, which is a lager brewed with Cascade hops. It is, uh, I think, one that Matias has poo pooed on before. So we'll see what his opinion is. Um, the next beer is from Sierra Nevada. It's recently released. It's called uh, Beer Camp, which is a golden IPA from their season, uh, spring seasonal collection. And then the last one is a Young's Double Chocolate Stout. So I will um, now uh, turn his music off. Okay. So, the tea house. Yes. I have uh, not poured the beer yet. All right. I am. Uh, I have explained to people what you're getting. All right. And I will now. So where's? Um... You're fine. Just pour. Just set your headphones down. 
I'm just thinking, should we bring these out so I just don't drag my phone on the floor? No, no, I've already unplugged the. Okay, cool. So, all right, it's already already done. Way ahead Excellent. of you there. Nice. Um, Good work, Hoss. Thanks, man. I uh, do what I can to make your life a little easier. You know what? Exactly. And then I will hand you the beers mm -hmm. now that I've got them all poured up. Well, since I can't fucking see, that would yes, help, right? Yes, I know. Otherwise, we'd have beer all over the table. Hold on, let me put the, uh, put the beers away so you can see what uh, what they are. Uh, we'll take your headphones off. All right, so. My headphones are off already. I mean, you're uh, blind pulled off. Okay, so your first beer. All right, it's right there. Mm -hmm. Give it a whiff. All right, this definitely smells like mass produced lager. <laughs> I knew you were going to be a total dick about no, this. No, 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 I'm not trying to be a total dick about this. I'm just very curious. But it's also, I mean, it's it's not like the like the really crappy industrial log. But it's still something that is it's still something that is massively produced. I mean, you can you can get you still get that little like corn corn kind of smell to it. But it's But it's, it's, um, wow, it tastes like old hops. <laughs> it's better than it smells like teen spirit. No, it's, it tastes, it really tastes like cheesy hops. <laughs> yeah. All right. So it's like a, it's a lager with cheesy hops. Is lager with cheesy hops. Lager okay. with cheesy hops. All right. Uh, you ready for your second beer? I am. All right. There you go. Thank you. What the hell? <laughs> I think I'm smelling the scarf a little bit. Yeah, that could be possible. By the way, you probably should wash this... the scarf. What's that? <laughs> you should probably wash the scarf. You should wash. I, I probably should it. wash my scarf. Oh, you should no, wash no, it. it's, yeah. Oh, thank you. You're for welcome. Putting it on my face. Oh, you're welcome. This really doesn't smell much. Yeah, I think it doesn't. And it could be because it's just really cold. Oh, yeah. Well, it's going to take forever. But it really get in there. Stick right. it hard. I'm getting like a faint. It's like a faint IPA smell, but it's really, really like it's not obvious at all. But there's definitely hops in the flavor, so it's. It's definitely an IPA. Okay. It's not overly bitter. No. Um, but it doesn't have like the juicy quality, so I wouldn't. I don't want to say it's a New England IPA. At least not like mouthfeel wise. Mm -hmm. Appearance wise, I don't have a fucking clue. No. So no. I can't fucking see. But it's getting. I mean, it's actually got a really pleasant hop flavor to it. Okay. But the nose is really lacking. They can't really fucking smell any hops on a nose. It's kind of weird because they're quite intense in the flavor. That's kind of nice. All right, you done? I like it. Okay. And then we have our last one. Beer number three. Beer number three. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a stout. Okay. So you can get tons of uh, chocolate and roasts. That are straight out of the class. Oh wow, that's a lot of chocolate. Yeah? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? No, I think it's quite decent. I mean, it's not like the... It's not like... Um, I mean, we had the was the big bad uh, Baptista the barrel aged one mm -hmm. a while ago. I mean, it's, it's not, it's it's way way not on that level. No, but I mean, I'm gonna guess this is not barrel aged at all either. Uh, it doesn't it have any, not. It doesn't have any barrel notes on it. Nope. But it's got quite a pleasant like chocolatey uh, taste to it. 
Pero bien, Yeah, it's got a really pleasant chocolatey taste to it. All right. It's a good balance between the chocolate and the uh, roastiness. Okay. Anything else? Um, nope. Okay. That's it. I'll take that one back then. Mm -hmm. And you can take a blindfold off. And then give yourself a second so you can see again. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. It really messes with your eyes. <laughs> yeah. Holy crap. Okay. So. So that's definitely a stout. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, what, how did we do it last time? Uh, I taste it so again. Number right. one. I taste yep, it again. Taste it again. Yeah. It's definitely a mass produced lager. It is a mass produced lager. Mm -hmm. I'll give you that. But I mean, it still has the. Because it still reminds me of like old hops or cheesy hops. Mm -hmm. And none of the normal mass produced lager do. Mm hmm. Um, so I'm going to guess this is like one of those kind of where they try to be crafty and it's like, oh, we're cool too. We use hops in our lager. Okay. And what would you say the AB, ABB on this? Well, since it's a mash brewed lager, I'm going to go with like the regular 5.2% Swedish stock, steel stock. Okay. Yeah. And then the, the middle one? Well, I'm still going to go for an IPA on that. Mm hmm but it, the the nose is really well. The nose is actually kind of apricotty now. But it tastes a lot more like tropical fruit on the um, in the in the flavor. Okay. But it's very pineapple and apricot. All right. And what would you give the uh, the ABV on that? I would say. Um, it doesn't feel that strong, really. I would probably say it's a session IPA. Okay. It's kind of light in the body as well. All right. Uh, yeah. So, like between between three point five and four point five. On this one. No, no, no. no on okay. the middle one. Okay, middle one. Three point five and four point five. All right. Yeah, something like and that. And then on the the one you said was stout. Well, it's definitely a stout. Well, it is a stout. It's, it's roasty yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's got yeah, yeah. tons of chocolate. It's stuff. definitely a stout. But it's really tasty. But it is super chocolatey. It is super chocolatey. It is almost like a, a roasted um, milk chocolate. Yeah. A little bit. <clears throat> Um, I don't think it's that strong. Okay. Like between six and seven or seven and eight, something like that. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So I will, uh, so, unveil. well, am I, am I right. doing breweries as well? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So the first one brewery. Yeah. Since I know you probably want to. Fuck with me, mm -hmm. but not give me a prips. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say this is one of those. Um, so it has hops in it as well. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say it's the one with the you know the skull. Mm -hmm. On the it's black can mm -hmm. with the skull and the fire. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck's it called? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're correct. It is that. Is it that one? Yep. And this one. The uh, the piston head custom lager. Yeah. Is it the custom lager? It is the custom lager. Yes. <laughs> 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 and the reason I picked that one in particular was because I wanted to see if blind tasted you would uh, you would notice the difference. All right. And and what's unfortunate is they make uh, Piston Head makes two different beers. Yeah. One that I like and one that I don't like. One that I think tastes like mass produced swill, which is this, this one. one. And the one that I like is uh, the, the other, other one with the mosaic hops in it. Right. Yeah, because this is the cheesy hop one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's terrible. Yeah, yeah, it's horrible. Yeah. Um, well, thank you for that. <laughs> well, no, I, I wanted to see if you're uh, if if uh, you know blindfolded and blind tasted. I almost went with the Miller Genuine Draft. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> because well, I'm glad you didn't do that. 
because I would be very curious because honestly, I really like Miller Ginger Draft. I think it's a pretty good like American mass produced lager. Um, and I'm sorry to say, but that's our last episode, folks. No, no, no. no. <laughs> um, I mean, it's not like I understand it's not great beer, but there's like a childhood thing that you kind of a childhood, but you yep. know something you grew up. The childhood with. thing that was the <laughs> you grew up with here here, you know, when you didn't have any money and uh, it was easy to to get to. Um, all right, so the, the the IPA. I really have no idea. Uh, I still think it's a session IPA. I. It doesn't feel like something American because it's not. I mean, it, it doesn't feel like it's American hopped. Yeah. Really. Okay. Because it's, it's. I mean, it could be uh, an American IPA that's a little bit old. Okay. Where the hops have like died off a little bit. All right. But it. I mean, the hops still feel kind of nice and fresh, so All I right. don't really think it is. Okay. So you're at a loss because I mean, to be fair, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, IPAs are really hard to nail down. It oh, could yeah. be just almost anyone. Exactly. All right. I don't and know. and all right. So we'll we'll skip that and then we'll come back to the to the third one. Uh, the stout. Yeah. Um, I actually think. So. It, it reminds me of um, when I just kind of got into craft beer, mm -hmm. and like one of the first stouts that I kind of enjoyed uh -huh. drinking. Uh -huh. It's readily available at Sustain Blog. It. Uh -huh. I I don't think you would pick. Two beers that are like readily available like all the time. Okay. I mean, I guess you could. I don't want to call it mass produced, but it's something that always exists there. <laughs> <laughs> I think your 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 face is telling me all that I need to know. Um, but I drank a lot of. Um, so basically, the only stout that I enjoyed drinking mm -hmm. when I got into uh, more craft beer ish. Yeah. Was the. Uh, uh, Purple label. Um, it's just called chocolate stout. Um, double chocolate stout. Young's right. double chocolate stout. Exactly. Uh, is this so that one? It is. <laughs> so piss and head. Yeah. Got some lager. Um, no nonsense lager beer. Uh, not. It's not just great. a nonsense beer. It is, it is not good. The other the other one is much much better. I the mosaic one. the mosaic one is I, actually. I think, I think the mosaic one would be able to throw you off a little bit more. Probably, yeah. Uh, because it tastes more like a craft lager. Yeah, uh, yeah. This is a... Uh, oh, the Beer Camp. The Beer Camp Golden IPA from Sierra Nevada. Uh, American. And... Uh, it is actually usually, quite fresh. Yeah. I mean, it's a 2017 they edition. Do, so. They do this... Uh, best before um, April 11th, so... So we, it's actually not that old. It's an... April right. bottled beer. Right. And so we got this um, in System Belogget a couple of... Um, it was the beginning of April. Was it? I thought it was like... A, like a, I thought it was last week. Oh, was it last week? Was it the yeah. end of April? I think it was the end of April. All right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, and then lastly... And this was a, a last minute edition. It was, it was Young's, Young's, Double, Young's uh, Double Chocolate Style. And only because... Um, and again, I picked, I picked these because I was very curious to see yeah. like... I could have gone high end, and that would have been, I think, kind of what you were expecting. Yeah. But I didn't want to go high end. I wanted to go something more mass produced to see Just if. Just to see what. The, well, because you're blindfolded, and if you're blind tasting something, yeah. then it removes that stigma that you have that it's exactly. custom crab lager or it's young double chocolate style, which you see on the show. Which is still everywhere. a nice beer. It's, it's really nice. Yeah. I mean, I could. There's nothing wrong with that beer. Um, so to go back, the uh, custom custom lager is four point nine percent, and you said yep. around five. Yeah. Uh, the beer camp <clears throat> is not a session; it is a six point five percent alcohol. It is actually six point five. Yeah. Yeah. And then lastly, the young double chocolate stout is a the five point two. 5 .2. So, right. good job, man. Thank you. You uh, you knocked this out of the park. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I'm better. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean when I when I, as soon as I smelled the custom lager, I was like, ah, I picked the wrong one. Yeah. It's, uh, 
It's not good at all. I think they got like Cascade hops from 2008 in that one. Yeah, it, it tastes really old and dated, and uh, it's just <coughs> tainted. It is tainted. We will definitely be dumping that. Yeah. Um. But Young's double chocolate stat really still holds up. It's really good. Yeah, no, it's it's really good. I don't think I'd really ever had it before, and then I tried it on tap somewhere, and I was like, holy crap, that is a really nice kind of sessionable, yeah. you know, stout. It's got a lot of flavor. It's and really rich. It's yeah, especially if you get it with a, like a little bit of a, what do you call it, nitro pour on it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, then it's just like creamy, and this doesn't have the nitro... Um, no. Pellet in it. <clears throat> uh, the bottle that we have doesn't. But uh, if it had that, man, this was on point. It's a little... I kind of wish it had that. Um, I think nitro uh, nitro would benefit it mm-hmm. a lot. Mm-hmm. Well, not a lot. Well, it gives it, it, still it, gives really it a creamier beer, but... it gives it a creamier mouthfeel. Yeah. That you don't get with the... Um, uh, with just the regular bottle. And I could have poured it more aggressively to make it foam more. Yeah, or it wouldn't and that really help that much. Well, it helps a little bit. Just a tad. Um, yeah, so this is a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this. Yeah, I mean, we definitely had to do this again. We, we definitely have to do these episodes again. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fun. And next time I'll go a little higher class on you. I uh, well, so I was kind of curious to see, like I said, blind, blindfolded, is it the $5 bottle of wine dressed up as $25? Do you yes. notice the difference versus... Yeah. Uh, so next time I'm going to probably do is go like kind of classier. And next time we're just you, doing Cantillons. Only can't, yeah. That would have been funny if I throw one in. You were like, this is horrible. This is like the worst. This is the worst sour I've ever had. I would just, I would die. I would absolutely just never let you forget. Well, never going to happen. Yeah. Well, we'll see. That would be funny to do. Uh... I'm just trying to give, make you give me Canty on now, so. Yeah. No. Playing, playing right into my hand. Oh. Oh. Never mind. You got an idea. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you did. It's evil. All right. So I won't mention it. Of course, it <laughs> of course it is. Do you have any other <laughs> any other beers recently that? Um, you um, what did I have? Well, actually, I, I uh, well, actually, you acquired a couple of cans of the uh, Cloudwater for team as well. Yeah. Holy crap! That was my favorite one out of all of them. I think. Yeah, they ended on a real high note with that. It's yeah, great. It is, um, and of course we've been we've been raving on about like the Clawwater uh, double IPAs for for a couple of episodes, but yeah, they're really doing some good stuff. Yeah, I don't know what's <laughs> going on over at War Pigs right now, but they their are IPA killing are it with IPA. churning out like uh, Opposite Optimist and Weez in the Juice, unbelievably good. <laughs> oh my god, I um, got what a was the one with, uh, we got the bad pun in a Crowler last yeah. time. Uh, that was also really good. It was really good. Um, but yeah, I picked up a can of the uh, Weezy Weez juice, juice a couple of weeks ago. And you got and a crawler of it. A crawler of it. And a fucking liter of it. You know, there are some beers you want to share with people, and there are some beers you just want to keep to yourself. That one was one I wanted to keep to myself. And then uh, Chantra and I were, were going to uh, a meeting in Colding, and uh, that's when you got the opposite optimist. Right. right? The opposite yeah. optimist. And it was a great. Great train, uh, great beer to drink on the train. It was um, sure it was sure it was a great meeting starter. Uh, well, the meeting was until the next day, so it was really just a relaxing, um, you know, two-hour train ride there. Oh, I bet it was. Uh, and then recently, I had uh, Foggier Windows from Monkish, uh, cloudy hazy <clears throat> IPA from them. Oh, that's one they had at uh, Himmery. Right, and yeah. let me tell you, amazing. All the things we, uh, oh, all the things we wanted from uh, everything we've heard about uh, about monkish IPAs. It's so, true. It's so true. So right. so true. All right. Right. Yep. Maybe we got to go to. Uh, well, we got a long weekend coming up. We do, and they have been putting a, a new monkish IPA keg on. I know. Every day. So it was people's <laughs> come first, and then it was uh, fog your windows, and now it's the spocket. To fire windows out already? Yep. It was one day. Well, that's how fast the uh, People's Come First went as well. Jesus Christ. It was gone. It went on on Wednesday. And yeah. By the time we got there on Thursday evening, they just put on the uh, fog, your, uh, fog Your Windows. Jeez. Well, we were on the train there. They were putting it out. So I don't expect Spocket to last. 
Probably not. Uh, right. la- last to tomorrow because that's one of their biggest. Uh, that was one of the things. big releases just recently. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. one. Of the, I've seen a lot of a lot of Instagram photos of that. So yeah. maybe they got more <clears> than <throat> one keg. Uh, yeah. Doubt it. But um, I mean, McKellar Beer Week is coming up as well, mm-hmm. and I think we should we should probably mention a little bit of that because that's going to be our next. Uh, right, right. Next so stop, right? right, so. Um, this comes up on Thursday. Friday, we're going to be at McKellar Beer Week. Yeah. Well, we're going to be at McKellar Beer Celebration. McKellar Beer Celebration, correct. <clears throat> and but McKellar Beer Week goes on all week, which yeah. is basically just filled of uh, pretty right. much amazing So they own 12 different bars in Copenhagen. McKellar? Yeah. 12? 12, right. Really? I saw that today. They had a, sh- had a, had a sheet printed with all of their just bars they own. Of them. Yep. So what are the twelve? It's Cool Ship, Mikel Victoria Gata, War yeah. Pigs, mm-hmm. uh, the new place Haven, uh-huh. or Han, yeah, Mikel um, and Friends, yep, Ramen Tabiru, yep, and Ramen Tabiru Vesterboro, right, Macropolis, Macropolis, true, uh, Odenbrod, yeah, true, uh, the Baghaven that they just renamed, it was the Mikeller, uh That was one I just said. No, not Haven. The McKellar, it's the, uh, they were renamed it. It was the, it's the big warehouse that's oh, out in the middle the, of nowhere. Uh, yeah, yeah, true. But they called it, they stopped the barrel bag, room. Bag, bag Hobbin is what it's called now. Uh, it was called the barrel room before. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, so that's 10. Ten. Two more. Uh, you see Ramadan Biru? Yeah, both of them. Uh, I don't know. There's, there's two more. I don't remember what they are. All right. So. That's a lot. Yeah. I was like, holy crap. They really are covering. That's only the, Copenhagen. Well, you say war pigs? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's just Copenhagen. Yeah, that's a lot. But I mean, they're doing good stuff. So yeah, I mean, fucking good on you. <laughs> no kidding. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Well, we're we're gonna talk what? about we're gonna do. Uh, oh, right. Stuff so in, right, right. So we are going to be at uh, McKellar Beer Celebration. We're gonna mm-hmm. do the Friday morning. Um, yeah, spot. We'll, we'll be on the yellow session. Yes. Um, and we got a few interesting uh, interviews lined up, actually. Mm-hmm. So we'll have interviews live um, from that day, and then we'll, we'll parse it like the over the weekend. So Like the Malmo uh, Beer and Whiskey. All right, like we do at the Malmo Beer and Whiskey Festival. Yeah. We'll, we'll yeah. release them in uh, quick succession, uh, yeah. short uh, 5, 10, 15-minute uh, interviews. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it should be a lot of fun to do. Oh, it shall. Oh, yeah. There will be a lot of uh, drunken debauchery going on. Yes. And uh, now I will leave um, Matthias to finish up his custom lager. Thank you. Brewed with Cascade Hops. Brewed with old ass Cascade Hops. (laughs) All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Keep drinking. And keep drinking.